<clears throat> okay um, so uh, let's find out how to export EDSK file format from inventor uh, we are in inventor 2012 here um, let's go to environment click on this uh, beam exchange and now it takes you into this beam exchange environment you can see that the features are already um, you know uh, removed like all the constraints and what have you if you click on uh, export building components it brings up another dialog box with with um, all these parameters you can go to model property and here under property you can assign pick and choose properties what property you want to export or you can say only property with value assigned and let inventor choose which property to to export so i'm going to choose this one uh, for now uh, you can also here you can assign its omni class parameter so you can say what the omni class is you can say furniture and then coffee table it's already assigned but you can assign you know a different different omni class if, if needed or, or if you have a new component you can assign it um, it's, its omni class here so you, let's go ahead and click ok and now save it under so let's just save it here as an SD, ADSK file uh, I'm just going to overwrite this existing one so I'm going to select this say yes and click yes it takes it takes a few seconds to to export and once uh, the export is done it gives us a translation report as well so you can view here you go it's just finished exporting so let's now review translation report you can review translation report here it says translation successful uh, complexity rating is low and and everything seems successful no error here so let's just um, open up Revit and bring that ADSK part in so we click this PR open and this time you open building component so let's just click on that point to that um, ADSK file we just created click open and boom here you go we get we get the full um, 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 you know the component here imported in Revit you can delete this box don't need that box now let's find out what it brings together uh, with this 3d geometry so let's first go into the, uh, the category and you can see that it brings in the right category because we chose remember we chose this omni class table um, number and assign it uh, a coffee table in the furniture category so it brings in as a furniture family type and it assigns for only class table as a f uh, coffee table and only class number we go to parameters it brings in all these parameters uh, so basically information in BIM uh, you can ex you can schedule this information thing let me just see uh, now that's uh, that's just the family but yeah at least we have some information you can't you can't schedule this because this isn't a shared parameter uh, as such um, but at least it brings in all this information and another thing that brings with it is uh, the material uh, it brings in the cherry natural material when that is applied to, to the component so that's fantastic so the two two main plus points with ADSK file format over SAT or DWG file as we can see here is is the material definition and and all these parameters added parameters um, and also it brings in, in in the right category for you so so you don't have to change the category after you import uh, or what have you so I hope I hope um, you you find this workflow useful and uh, you learned uh, something from this. Bye for now.